Hi Summerfield neighborhood, my name is Christine Callender and I am your Summerfield neighbor. I'm also a licensed realtor in the state of Colorado and I wanna share with you an update for Summerfield neighborhood and our housing market. So recently we had a bunch of Summerfield homes all come on the market and because of that, it's a pure economics equation of supply, demand, and pricing. So with an exaggerated uh, supply of properties on the market, with a little bit lower demand due to interest rates, unfortunately, we saw our prices start to decline a bit. Now, that's not being reflected yet because a lot of those properties are currently pending, but it's probably going to be reflected next month once those properties close. Recently, I did a search, a one mile search around a property located in the center of Summerfield neighborhood. And I searched for everything that was priced between 550,000 and 650,000. And surprisingly, I found 47 homes. Now in the past couple of years, that has hovered around in the teens or maybe 20s. Um, but that was a surprisingly large amount. And even more surprisingly was that almost all of them were priced between uh, 550 and 600 and not very many at all priced between 600 and 650 so um, that was kind of surprising to discover unfortunately in our Summerfield neighborhood we've had a couple of fire sales um, one of them was due to to an estate sale one of them was due to facing a, a mortgage foreclosure um, and then another one I'm not really sure why it was priced so low I didn't get the scoop on that one but it was definitely a fire sale so that does make it difficult when you've got other properties that are just looking to get fair market value competing with these fire sales um, speaking of sales I wanted to let you know that something I'm offering to all of my clients that are looking to sell their property in the winter or the early part of 2025, like, let's say in January or February, before all of the green and the beauty comes out, is to get your photos done now. So a lot of times what we'll do is we'll do the photos this time of year when all the flowers are blooming, the grass is green, the, all the trees are leafed out, and your pro property looks gorgeous. And then that way, when you do sell in the winter, then we have those beautiful photos to showcase and market your property. So if you're interested in that, let me know now so that we can get you on the books and get you scheduled for that. Okay, what else? Um, I wanted to share with you a typical season, and this is uh, for Summerfield, but also for Colorado Springs at large. And that is that typically the best time of year to sell is February. A lot of people are really surprised by that fact. So here's why. There's no competition. Basically, if you want to buy a property in, in this zip code and you're the only one that's up for sale, then you pretty much get to demand your price. Um, so that's one of my favorite times to sell uh, for sellers. Now, it, through March, through the end of July, it's pretty even between buyers and sellers. We see a lot more inventory hit the market, so buyers have a lot more options. Um, and sellers do get to sell well because more buyers are looking. It's PCS season for the military. A lot of people that are looking to transition that have kiddos in school, that's kind of that peak season for buying and selling. Then for buyers, uh, it tends to get better after the end of July. Now that means for sellers, not so great, okay? So um, August, uh, it's fair, October, well, I'm sorry, September is in between there. September is not as great as August. October is even worse than uh, September and uh, August. And then November and December really is not your ideal time to be selling. Um, a lot of times people are focused on the holidays. But as an investor um, or a savvy buyer, that's a really great time to get a good price. However, you do tend to be limited by the inventory. The sellers selling during that time period usually aren't selling because they want to, they're selling because they have to. So that's just a little bit of insider information for you there about the typical uh, selling and buying seasons. And um, the last thing that I wanted to point out, I just want to give a huge thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of our neighbors who help make our Independence Day celebration and parade a huge success. We had so many people pitch in uh, from crossing guards to people that were helping um, lead the parade with their fancy cars um, to people that were um, willing to help plan the event and um, so many people in the neighborhood. It does take a village to make these events happen and we're so grateful. 
Um, our next event, oh, by the way, there's a link uh, below this video where you can check out a video of all the photos and the video from the event if you missed it and if you were out of town. Check it out, it just is truly heartwarming. And I'm starting to hear more people wanna live in our neighborhood because of these fun community events that we do here. So that's kind of cool to learn. Uh, our next event is going to be in the fall. It's going to be our uh, chili cook-off and cornhole tournament. So if you're interested in helping plan this event, please let me know. Uh, it would be wonderful to get more ideas and, and the more people that are involved in planning this, the better these events turn out. So thank you so much for watching this. And if there's ever anything I can do for you, please let me know. Now, most of you, you're not going to move. You know, 40% of our neighbors have lived in their homes for 20 years or longer. But I know you know people, so if you ever have a friend or somebody at church or um, somebody that needs help and questions about real estate, I would be honored to help them. I have had so many referrals to friends or um, sometimes some of y'all have investment properties and I'm honored to help you. So um, feel free to give me a holler. Hope you're having a great day and hope to see you soon.